Welcome back. Blacksmithing shows have become all the rage on TV, and if you want to get in on the action, you can try it for yourself right here in Pittsburgh and make some awesome custom pieces while you're at it. Daisy is at Barefoot Forge in Allison Park, and that's where the heat has been turned all the way up. Daisy, we're burning to know what you've got going on over there. <laughs> Hi guys, yes, this is such a cool spot we have found here in Allison Park. It is Barefoot Forge and, you know, safety first. I got my Pittsburgh DAG glasses on, but I'm here with the owner, Craig. And Craig, we are working on a bottle opener, right? Yep. Made out of a railroad spike. This is our most popular class we teach here, and you're doing a great job. Yeah, so I, as you guys saw, I've already started the process, and now we're just going to finish it off. Um, there you go. All right, so as I'm doing this, I, I got to like do that. it this way. Nice and fast. All right. Good. Stop. Woo! Pop it up. Okay. Remember, hold it this tight way. and yep. hit it hard. Everything okay. you got. Yep. Now this is the hard part, yep. guys, because I gotta hit it like um. Beat it like it owes you money. Yeah. There we go. There you go. Keep going. Uh. A little more right at the tip. Good. Stop. All right. That looks great. And then do I need a? No, that one's oh, perfect. Okay. Cool. Then go I put, put it in the this bucket. Down. And then now I gotta drop it in this bucket to cool down. Let go of it. There you go. Woo! All right. Perfect. And then can I hand that to you? Yeah, I'll take those. So, Craig, why blacksmithing? How did that become? I mean, I feel like there's been a resurgence of that lately. There's a lot of people getting into it. Um, the TV show Forged in Fires had a lot to do with it, but people just like making stuff. And there's a whole maker movement, and this is a really fun activity, especially in the winter. Well, I know that you even have classes yeah. so that people could come in not only take welding classes, but even just some fun things for like a date night or yep. a girl's night out. Um, so tell us about some of the things that you make. So we teach a beginner class making bottle openers here. We do an intro to knife making class. We do a really Ooh. cool uh, class, our date night metal roses class. We don't really learn anything. You just make a rose. It's fun. <laughs> um, and then the coolest thing we do is a make your own ring program where you can come and people come from all over the world. Uh, my average customer flies here for that. And you go home with a wedding ring that you made. I think that is so cool. I mean, I was even thinking about for Mikey and myself, like, hmm, that might be an interesting concept. It's a but lot of fun. Right now, we're letting um, this cool down. Yep. And that's pretty much, you know, the, the final step of that. Yep. And then... Obviously, as you guys saw, we initially took it from here, hammered it down, smoothed it out, and then we did like a twist on the on the welding system there. Uh, yeah, we put it in the vise and twisted it. When the metal's nice and hot, it moves really easy. It's yeah, not, it's not hard. This wasn't hard, was yeah. it? Yeah. Now, how did you get into this? I just started doing this in high school with a buddy, and somehow we do this now. Yeah, I love it. I love it. What do you think is somebody's or the most popular thing that people love to do? Our our popular class is the bottle openers. That's yeah. our intro class. But we have a really uh, rapidly growing knife making class. Our our buddy Andy teaches. He's from the show Forged in Fire, and he's a great knife making instructor. So. Uh, yeah, we do all kinds of that. We do a really sweet intro to welding class, too. Uh, a lot of people are trying to learn to make things and weld in their garage, and that's what we do. And and I know that you, with safety, you told me we got to make sure that you not to touch it unless... Don't lick it, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> don't lick it. Okay, so how do we know when these are ready? Well, well these ones have been sitting out a while, but if okay. I put a little bit of water on here, this is my grandmother's recipe. If it steams up real fast, it's too hot. Okay. It doesn't, so we can give it a little hot potato test and... So that, that looks like this is good. Guys, we have been working all morning to make these really cool bottle openers from railroad spikes. And I love the fact that it's you can take things that are you know, essentially recycle items yeah. to make something your own. These make cool gifts. And then if people want to know more about the classes or they can anything go like on that. the website or we have a great Instagram and a YouTube page. Uh, we show all kinds of great information. So even if you can't come here and take a class, we'll teach you something yeah i know that uh you definitely have a fun uh youtube uh page where you're showing a lot of welding and a lot of um fun things that you do all right things. well Take i think the spin. final thing that we have to do is oh yeah can't have a bottle opener without, without a uh, beer trying <laughs> it out all right <laughs> Good oh work. i did it <laughs> oh hey, cheers yes. in the morning guys look at how fun this is you guys got to try it that's, that's so, so cool and you know what else is really neat too like making and your own wedding bands yeah what an experience to do together that is, and then fun. to have them yeah. for a lifetime that's really cool that's a cool date night it's, it's different is. yeah <laughs> and classes are filling up fast so be sure to sign up soon we'll have the link for you on our website pittsburghtodaylive.com